So this is my, the truck that started it all pretty much. Um, I was considering making all my vehicles this forest green color because I can't tell you how many times I meet a customer and they're like, hey, I see your green trucks everywhere. And this is the only, you know, green truck I have. So it's kind of built a little reputation driving around town all these years. Um, but everybody I talk to about this color just we all say the same thing that it's like, you know, just the color of a truck, you know, nothing special. You don't, when I stop at a red light or something, I don't think anybody does a double take on the color of this truck. So, so that's why I had to come up with a different color. So I'm here at my buddy's shop, the next town over, I don't service this area and he doesn't service mine. And these are his color trucks. So they're, they really pop and stand out. And here are, here's another company that has a bunch of yellow trucks. And those get noticed quite a bit too. So I can't do pink, yellow. Um, and my buddy has lime green trucks. Well, he only has one truck now, but he has a lime green truck. So, so pink is taken, yellow is taken, uh, lime green is taken um, so I, I wanted to be different um, so that's why I chose the blue that I did tweak it as much as I can uh, ready to go for Monday tomorrow um, there it is so this is not fully put together as far as what equipment is going to go on here I just wanted to throw it together so that you can kind of see my vision of what I wanted um, so if you can see back there I've got this 15 gallon tank I had two of them, two of those tanks, but one of them was delivered to me with a giant puncture in it, so I'm returning it. Um, and, and that's not fully exactly where I want it either. I just, again, I just want to throw it in there just to kind of show you what I had in mind. Um, so I'm not quite sure if the Mo guys are gonna get this or if the gardeners. Um, I have a couple of gardeners that are, have been doing first time mows and they're always uh, taking a trailer too. So, uh, and they're filling up the back of the beds, you know, with this kind of stuff. So I'm thinking that this may be a good idea for the gardeners because they can take this plus a trailer, fill, fill up the trailer and have everything they need on this. The only problem is they'll have to unload the trailer every time, but here it is. Yeah, so I welded these racks for shovels and rakes and things like that. Um, and I'll be putting them back there, but I wanted to paint them first. 
because I didn't want to spray paint them while they're on the truck and then I would get the window if I did that unless I took a whole bunch of time and prepped it and made sure the window didn't get painted but I just thought it'd be easier to prime it while it's off I just haven't gotten to that part I'll do it sometime this week and then I'll paint it blue um, just like the color of this truck so yeah here it is again I'm not sure who's gonna be using this truck it'll most likely be I'm thinking the gardeners so it probably won't have the mowers and things I just wanted to show you you know what I had in mind if we put mowers so I put these uh, kind of these tracks in here so that the mowers stay in place and it's hard to see I might take these off just so you can see them So what I need are those those tool racks for the shovels and things like that. And then I also need some racks for the air blowers or leaf blowers. So that is what I've got. And this is the vision for all the trucks eventually. Just right now, um, I was able to get my hands on that mo trailer bed trailer I should say and again this green truck will be next I'm supposed to put that in the shop tomorrow in the paint shop tomorrow but I, I'm, I've got to get those that tree out of there um, I don't think it'll fit in my dumpster I may have to try just to get it out of there because it's supposed to be in the shop tomorrow morning first thing so yeah I'm happy with it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I think it's got the wow factor that I was looking for. You know, when we're driving down the road, people are going, whoa, what is that? That is what I wanted. That is what I was going after. That's why I picked such a bright blue color. Um, so yeah. Can't wait till they're all blue like that and possibly all have the trailers like that. So my buddy that sold me this trailer actually is, has new trailers that he's designed and put on his trucks and they're more efficient and easier to get to everything and he's made a lot of improvements since this one but I figured you know I'll buy this one off him since he was selling it um, and I'll try it out and, and I'll start doing this. So this will give me a good idea of what I what I would like to do on the next ones, but but for now, I'm super happy. I went out with it one day, and I was it was so easy to park in front of the houses. I actually pulled up to a gas station and I pulled right up to the front door. Something I would have never been able to do with a trailer on the back, um, and it was almost like everybody that was watching me at that gas station was just like whoa I can't believe that you know you've got all that stuff in the back of your bed so anyway it was pretty awesome um, I love it so here are those tracks I was telling you about to keep the mowers in place I, what I did was I put a mower back here and then I put the bars where they needed to go so I and then I marked it and then I welded them on and then I did the same thing on this back one because I knew I'd usually have, if we if we did have this for a mow crew, we'd always have either a grandstand right here, one or two mowers here at all times. So this is just the little simple setup I needed. Today's going to be an interesting day. I, I have to go out with a mow crew because uh, they're just not finishing the route. And today they have... Uh, 28 houses on the on their list and they have not been getting their route done um, well they've been getting it done but they've been skipping houses that don't need it and they're still finishing at 8 o'clock um, I'm okay with them skipping houses if they don't need to be done we tell customers we will do that if that's the case but my fear is um, 
they, we can't skip any more houses because the grass at this stage, we're in the, what, the third week of April. Um, grasses aren't going to be short anymore. So I am scared to death that they're, these guys aren't going to be getting their routes done and then people are going to start canceling. Um, that is my biggest fear right now. So, um, so it's all good and dandy. I want to go out there with the guys and show we have a new Mo guy and he just doesn't understand, um, you know, the urgency needed in order to, he, I don't believe he thinks they can get these houses done and I need to go with them so that I can, he can just watch me. I'm just going to act like I'm him and, and have him just watch me. Uh, for a few houses uh, and maybe we'll we'll rotate so I can start timing him and things like that. So I'm going to teach him that in order to get these houses done, the trimmer needs to be done trimming and edging before the guy with the mower is finished or or at the very least try and get done at the same time and and somebody starts air blowing or leaf blowing um, so that's the goal is to get the trimming and edging done and start leaf blowing at the same time as the guy that finished mowing that's key to getting the route done that and drive time that and getting out of the getting out of the truck as soon as you pull up to the house i mean you don't have a second to spare if you got to beat that mow guy um, most of the time the mow guy is the guy driving and he needs to enter in some information at every job from the mobile app to tell the office where he's at and that kind of thing uh, and just read the notes on the job so that those little those few seconds or a minute is key um, to hurrying up because you also have to trim in ahead of the mo guy so all those trimmings that you do and, and you leave on the lawn the mo guy right after you can come um, you know mulch it or bag it up right after you so it's super key that the system that that the mo guy and the trimmer have a system that they can work together uh, almost without even communicating it so when they get to when they get really good at that kind of thing they can show up to a new house that they've never seen before do a quick little walkthrough and get to work and know exactly what they need to do to be efficient and get done without making a mess with the grass. So, so I am checking my mow route now. Okay, so we're gonna start work. My shop is around this area actually no it's it's around yeah it's right around here my shop is and we get to our first house right here so one two three so three four and five jobs are right close together so it doesn't look like they're here but there's just three so number job number three actually has a mowing and a sprinkler churn on as the fourth job and then there's five and then over here is the sixth mowing oops went too close so this is my service autopilot system that routes my jobs so here we go six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, we're 17. Oh, okay. So, so this job here, uh, actually this one has a mowing and another sprinkler churn on. So that's why it's 16, 17. Here's 18, 19, 20. And then I shoot back down. So this is the farthest Provo we go. And then we start going into Springville over here, but we don't go that far. We don't go into this town. Um, just for drive time purposes um, and then 21 is a and then 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 
and 30. And then from here, we go up to here and back to our shop. So again, this should be a fun, interesting route. Hopefully we can knock this out in, I would be really happy if we could knock this out in 12 hours. So game on. Okay. So, okay, so I'm gonna drive Cody. Cody's got the camera in his hand. He's a new guy. I'm driving so that when I'm like, what the hell took you guys so long? You could say, because he's a slow ass driver. So I, not only do I want to show you how fast you need to be when you're out there trimming, but I want him to see how you're supposed to drive too. And I don't want you to be unsafe. I just, even the driver needs to hop out of the truck and start, you know, going at it. I do know, so I'm having him. So, so Cody, you should learn how to use the, the app so that while he's driving, um, you could start and stop jobs type things or even show him how to get there. Um, so he doesn't sit in his truck like you know he does looking for the address and map it all out in his head before he even turns the truck on. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, so anyway, that's what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna, this will be the last one I do. I think Cody's got me at this point. Uh, and we'll have him start doing the next ones. So I'm gonna do this one. Just record me. Both houses? Just this one. So, but this one, it's this one and this one. Oh, really? We can yeah. both? All right, let's do both. I'll do both. All right. And you can like back up, zoom out, you know what I'm saying? You don't need to be right up on me, just so you know. Am I recording the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully my, I have enough storage, I think I do. Are you sure it's this one? Yeah. Yeah, we do both of them because in the backyard, it connects. It goes through.
finish trimming and we beat the mower guy. Okay. So it's 3.30 and we're on our 22nd house. So I think we're doing really good on time. Um, I think so far it's been worth uh, being out here with the guys. Um, I think that he's really understanding the urgency needed to get these houses done. So how long have we been doing? So it was about eight, so seven and a half hours and we were on our 22nd house. <sighs> After this, we'll have six more to go and it's only 3.30 so um, I don't know. I think the, the time is great. I, I hope they can start doing this time without me, but um, the only time will tell. Uh, but at least they can see that it can be done. So when I'm like, hey guys, you got 30 houses on your route today, it should just be, all right, let's get it done. Not, oh man, I don't know if we can get that many. So that's, that's my goal is to make sure they can get it done. So... So even if they struggle when I'm not here, um, at least they know that, that that should be the standard is to get it done. I, I wanna, these guys can work as long as they need to, but they, they just gotta get these houses done in a, in a decent time and we can add more houses. And so if these guys end up with a whole bunch of overtime, day um, I'll pay that all day it's when they're not even getting their their 30 done in a day and and they're getting overtime that's where I'm I'm starting to feel like you know I'm not feeling that so anyway um, so far things are going good I think the guys are pretty cool I'm also able to stop and point out some things I'm trying not to be a bugger because you know I could be a bugger if I really want to and I don't want to um, you know they're trying hard so I'm trying to point out minimal things just things that that are really stand out if I don't say anything um, so anyway it's going pretty good and by the way um, just because there's three of us doesn't mean we're all three working each property if we'd be doing that we'd be our time would be even better uh, but I am trying to make it so either I'm trimming or Cody's trimming and edging. Uh, so it's literally like one person doing the job uh, as the trimmer and not me being here and, and trimming the back while he's trimming the front. I'm not doing that because I want these guys to actually see that they can get the, the 30 houses done in a, you know, in a decent time. So we finished the route at about 6.30 and with unloading the trailer and putting everything away, we finished the route in just under 12 hours. So it was 11 hours and 58 minutes or something like that. So just under 12 hours, which was my goal. That's what I wanted to do. And I showed these guys it can be done. I know that I'm a little faster than the new guy, but he needs to know that it's possible to get it done. And that's what we accomplished today.